Hey everyone, thank you very much for subscribing. I'm now to over 100 people, which is brilliant. Um, loads of you have been inquiring about what I've got for trade, so I'm going to just rattle through. I mean, this isn't even half of it, I'm just going to rattle through as much as I can. But a couple of things that I need to say um, about trading before I go on. I'm totally honest, obviously, you can believe that or not, but I am. Um, and I don't want to end up over in spats over did you send this, did you send that or anything. If you want to trade with me, I would way prefer it if we did it over sportscardforum.com um, or Beckett, I think you can do it over as well now. I'm not sure about that, but I'd rather do it that way. I'm not saying that none of you are you know, trustworthy, um, but it's just a bit easier for all of us if we've got a record of what's going on. So if we are going to do it over YouTube, I'm going to, I'm going to put that somewhere. I'm either going to put a, put a video up or I'm going to put a comment in a video somewhere that says this is what the agreement was. Um, I actually need some money at the moment as well, so if you want to make me a cash offer for any of these, that would be equally appreciated. Um, just bear in mind, I do live in the UK, which means that the shipping costs are higher to America than they would be um, within the you know con continental US to, to continental US. Just bear that in mind if you if you make me an offer that it's going to cost probably I don't know it depends how many cards you you, you want, but it, it can cost. Um, you know, up to kind of eight, ten dollars just to send a, a couple of them. So just bear that in mind. Anyway, all of that kind of legal crap out of the way. Let's go and get on with it. First thing is here. I've got a great big pile of uh, Ray Whitney base. It's just all sorts of random stuff. There's loads of duplicates. I've been trying to get rid of it for ages because uh, I've picked out everything I want from it. So if you want any of those or you know somebody who wants those, just let me know. Okay, I'm just going to rattle through some player sets here. Um, it would be really nice to get rid of sets of players all at once, um, but I will split if, if you want me to. Um, just ask me if, if you see a player you like, you'll actually quite like to see what you've got in that packet, just let me know. Okay, the first is uh, an ex-Manchester Storm player, this is Frankie Petrangelo. I actually think that most of his cards are in there, um, so for nostalgia's sake, or if you're an ex-Whaler or whatever, there's quite a lot of those. I then have... Florida's um, old backup goalie, Mark Fitzpatrick. Again, I think it's most of his cards in there, and there's quite a nice pinnacle autograph. This is just to make room. I would love to keep these, but it's just to make room for, for other things. It's getting a bit silly. And then I thought that Ivan Nova Seltzer was going to do quite well for Panthers, and he hasn't. So that is a not inconsiderable number of his rookies there, along with a jersey, first edition jersey. A lovely sign of the times. He's got a great signature. Um, there was a premier date rookie out of 73. That's a rather spiffy titanium draft day rookie. Shiny and uh, MVP superscript. So if you like him, if you're in Russia, if you like Nova Seltzer, there's all sorts of good stuff there. Then got a couple of uh, slab ones. Okay. Be a player memorabilia rookie of Rick Nash. It's Beckett rated mint nine. And I also have this bizarre little pickup. This is a Gordy Howe um, 2002 National Convention upper deck card rated to 9.5. Bit of a weird one that, but it's legit. So there it is. Okay, I'm going to run through the Owen Nolan ones because they've had quite a lot of interest. First up is uh, Crown Royale Patch. It's out of 220. Then I have several of these in the game used jersey and stick cards because I was trying to collect like the whole stick. <laughs> so it got a bit out of hand. So you've got a choice of these if you've got a particular one that you want. Just that in there. Oh, actually, sorry. No, there are two of those, but there are three of these. That's the pinnacle one. Various bits of whatever on. Then have uh, a really nice SP Game Used Edition jersey and three colour patch there. That's out of 50. I have Parkhurst Game Used Stick. I think that's the E of Easton. Nice gold swatch there. And then I also have Ultimate Memorabilia, Game Use Stick 10 of 90. That's also card 9268 of 25,000 hopes of things. 
And again, that's got a nice little gold stick on the way. Okay, moving into some more sort of random stuff. Dwayne Rollison. Patch card there. The card's Edmonton, but the patch looks like it's Minnesota. That's a very nice card. Marty Turco Beehive Matted Materials. There's a Mark Recchi Championship Fever card in here. We more a Championship Fever. That's a bit random. I do have a load of other Mark Recchi cards. Um, so, stay tuned. I've got a Keith Yandel Trilogy Rookie Premiers. That's out of 999. Then have Cody McCormick cards. In fact, I'm sure. Oh, it's there. <laughs> I'm sure there's more and more and more. Yes, because it's in your hand, Jenny. The first is the Rookie Premiers Tier 1. That's out of 999. Then his Young Guns. You might be saying, Jenny, why did you start collecting Cody McCormick? To which the answer is, I don't know. NHL Protégés. That's Upper Deck Classic out of, looks like, 1150. And then I have two SPX Rookie Stars. I think they were both Redemptions out of 1500. Then back to Ray Whitney, I have uh, Authentic Fabrics going used out of 99. I think that's the gold version. I think that's right. Not very good on the versions. And then I have Upper Deck MVP Gold Script out of 100. Then David Le Lenovo, Lenovo, Phoenix Ice Premiers out of nine, uh, 19. No, try it again. 1999. Then you might see me pulling this. Victor Piatro Victory Gold. Ansi Coppertar. Authentic Fabrics Jeweler. Henrik Lundqvist Upper Deck Game Jersey. Todd Bertuzzi and Brendan Morrison. This is a double sided one. Harvest Dr. Titanium. So there's the first side. There's the second side. Then some like random Sydney Crosby card. I think that's Rookie Review or something. I don't know where the hell that came from. Then Anthony Stewart Ice Premiers out of uh, 4999. And also um, Beehive Red. I think that's a rookie. That would make them a little different. Then Olash Victory Rookie. And then I have two. One is two colours. Of the uh, rookie jersey auto, they are both out of 1499. Corey Murphy, Young Gun, Yannick Perot, first edition, that's show stamped Montreal, one of ten. I don't know where I get this stuff from, seriously. Um, Felix Potvan, uh, that's show stamped for Expo, it's like Toronto, one of ten, Musk. And also his Dynagon Ice Copper out of 99. Tommy Sarlo, score Golden Blades, and Andy Move, score Golden Blades. I'm hoping to break a box of this soon. Somebody keeps outbidding me on it. Mark Messier, Aurora Championship Fever. Steve Connewaljuk, let's be a player. I oh, know it's already his signature series. Um, that's Ruby out of 200. Ed Belfour, Scouting Reports, that's really one. Uh, and Hugh Solani, Scouting Reports. I broke a box of this, I think, many years ago. Brett Hull, Championship Fever. Dino, Check It, that's from the score, 97 set. Adam Oates, Premier Hockey Tools of Game. I don't know whether you'll see this, but that's the Ice Effects Edition. It's got a really cool thing going on there. Then, Nielsen, Dual Jersey Auto from SPX. That's out of uh, 999. Zach Parisi, Rookie Threats. Olaf Kolzig. Golden Blades. 
I really hope you can see these because I can't see myself what I'm doing. And then a goalie cam card, this is great, this is so cool. Yeah, fully open the man up. There's a great picture inside it. That's good. Then his starting lineup card. Because I bought one of his starting lineup figures and he couldn't resist busting it. Um, Manny Fernandez, that's the full expo of stamp 10. And that's 7 of 10. I know show stamp cards aren't very popular, but I thought I'd show them anyway in case you're looking. Then Damien Rhodes, Score Network. And Golden Blades, I think they're from the same set. Also his starting line of card. Then Patrick Stefan. I have the auxiliary card and the CD from the Power Deck series. It was a nice idea, wasn't it? Just didn't quite work. So I have his MVP Cup Contenders insert. And Parkhurst Silver out of uh, 500. It's 306 out of 500. Um, Calder Jersey. I don't think that's serial. And then I have Manny Legacy. There's a dual authentic fabrics there. And there's a dual card of him and Henrik Zetterberg. And I have a few more of Zetterberg coming up. Um, it's a winning combos one then. And uh, his, <laughs> I don't know whether his shirt got put in the wash or what with somebody else's, but the jersey swatch looks pink to me. Uh, that's serial out of 350. Okay, that's just a fraction of, of what's to come. Please don't send me messages like, I need your Zetterberg or whatever. Make me an offer or, or engage in, in some sort of conversation with me over it. You may need my Zetterberg, but I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what you've got. Um, I also hate going through pages and pages and pages and pages of people's photo buckets. Could you have a look and see if I've got anything you want? Is it on my trade list is the answer to that. Um, I'm going to try and put the trade my trade list in the comments down here. Wherever, wherever that may be. And forgive me, I am a bit grumpy this morning. I'm quite happy to admit that. I didn't have a very good night's sleep last night. I think I was too excited about getting over 100 subscribers. But as I say, I'm honest and I'm genuine and I will try and do you you know, the, the, you know a good deal for you um, providing all the same way with me. So... Let's see what we've got.